this is an example of uh, what you can do um, with the Nova launcher on an Android head unit my Android and my head unit specifically is a joining head unit um, I didn't really like a lot of the launchers I found or I liked them but I felt like there were limitations to them um, so I set about uh, seeing what I could do with working with Nova launcher to make it look like it was one of the more expensive fancier launchers out there so basically this is what I came up with um, what you really see here is a background image um, that I put together for pieces and parts I found around the web um, and organized them so that I was able to uh, you know add the features that I use on a daily basis to my home screen um, for example if I do a double scroll up here it'll bring you to Nova settings and if we go into Nova settings let me show you desktop icon layout right now currently I've got my icon labels hidden so you can't really see what's going on but if I turn that label on right now right, and then go back to the desktop you'll see that there are a bunch of invisible icons here um, one over each one of the uh, selections that I have on my head unit so an example here is uh, to, I mean to make this happen essentially um, what I did was is I took the picture and I made sure that the way that it lined up lined up with as best as I could really the grid that you can set up in the Nova settings like for example this is on a 6x6 six six grid in landscape mode um, and the icons are, are set to their max size so if we go back into settings here and hide the icons basically what you see here is the uh, result of that um, why can't you see the icons well really simple um, I used an invisible uh, ping file um, in the settings so if you go here and long press on an icon for example and you do edit you can click that icon and go to wherever you would store your icons on your head units in my case it's in documents uh, recent pictures and here's my invisible icon right here so resize it to whatever you want to do click done and now you have an invisible icon whoops sorry about that and what you see is uh, a bunch of what appear to be working buttons but really they're just invisible icons that are set up um, with the head unit. A couple things that I added to make it a little bit more fun for driving um, is I have an app here that gives me the status of things in my car um, which is came with the head unit actually almost all of the Chinese head units have this and I added this uh, speedometer and the speedometer essentially uh, is a widget that comes with a speedometer app that I have. I'll make sure that I post this in the thread. Um, you'll notice after a moment the uh, title bar disappears. That comes with the full version. And what's cool about the speedometer is, is it ends up pretty much everywhere. If I go to music, um, the default music player is power amp. Uh, you'll see that the speedometer now actually replaces my default image um, with the speedometer for the head. Which works out for me, but you can pretty much you know use any default image you want to match uh, you know whatever you think is cool for your car and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically it. Um, you know, if you go back to home, you go back to the setting, and essentially what you have is a pretty usable interface um, uh, with done completely with Nova Launcher. Um, down at the very bottom, I didn't mention this, but this is really nothing more than the four by one widget. Um, for power amp and depending on what you click on the widget it brings up certain things which actually helps the interface even better so like for example if I click the picture I go back to the screen um, where you know it's the actual play screen but if I click the actual name of the song here it actually brings me to the song list so uh, a lot of functionality here it's uh, built in with just the normal things that come uh, with Nova Launcher, uh, uh, a background image, some invisible icons, and widgets that come with normal tools that I already have. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out. 
um, this apps folder is actually a mini apps folder uh, for things that I use frequently when I'm driving. Um, it's really nothing more than a folder. Uh, same thing, I set the icon for the folder to an invisible image and copied the very common apps that I use when I'm driving into it. So if I just want to do a quick app, I just go there. But if I want to go to the main apps, I just do a single up and there's my main apps as well. And on this one I set for a uh, 5 by 3 grid and made the icons as big as I could. You can actually make them even bigger if I wanted to set a smaller grid. Um, but I think this one's pretty easy to see while I'm driving and that's what I was shooting for. Alright, uh, feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you think about my, uh, my head unit. And uh, thanks for watching.